When you speak about race car, the first thing you speak about is tire. You land the tire. The car carry the tires and the tire carry the car. And that is why if there's a right hand corner dominant track, you're going to put more cumber on one side than the other. Then if there is curb on that track, well, if you've got a very stiff setup, a Le Mans or something very aerodynamic, you're not going to go very well on the curb. You're going to jump off the curb and basically be in the air. If you're in the air, you're an airplane. You're not a race car anymore. If you're, if you're a race car, you want to have contact to the ground so that you can go fast. Every track has got certain similarity. Uh, some are aerodynamic because we go very fast. Bathurst, average speed at 170, 190. Winton uh, Raceway, top speed 230, uh, average speed 145, very slow. So aerodynamic doesn't matter. It's all mechanical grip, which means we can be a bit softer. We can let the car move around. We don't do that when it's an aero car. You want to be stiff and, and follow the profile of the road to keep the same aero balance all the time. And that's the reason why we keep changing uh, our setup. It's personal. Uh, it's, it, the engineer find what the driver likes. Most people like to have a base setup, but they just move a little bit. I'm more adventurous. I like that element of, I like being clever or forcing myself to try to be clever, which means I accept to make mistakes uh, that comes together. But uh, we, we go to Townsville with something different from Darwin uh, because we think it's, uh, it's the right way to go. Yeah, so the traditional way we used to wheel along the cars at the racetrack is toe strings, bar, virtually fishing line on a bar and we'd set that. The setup wizard that we've got is uh, a laser system now and gone to that way to allow more time at the track for our doing the setup in between sessions where we haven't got a lot more time we can get the system out once it's set up pretty easy to use you still got your scale patch that you put out set it up level underneath the car then you got the wizards that go onto the hubs so it's set purposely for the supercar now for our ones the longest part of of it is setting the scales underneath the car and making sure that they're all level. Once we've set that, we'll go down on, onto the patch, automatically reads back to the laptop so we can then deal with the cambers, the toes and everything like that through laser. Saves time and stuff like that by not having to go up in the air, back down, up in the air, back down. Back to the workshop after a round, we're heading to another round. There's always different tracks, different setup, pull the cars apart, different arm lengths, different ride height, spring rates, cambers. The engineers will work out what they want for the next track. They'll bring us down a sheet with all the information on uh, what we need to do. We'll rejig arms. Corner weight's a big thing. Chasing everything to the millimeter. For stage one, we put the driver weights in the um, driver's seat to replicate what where Tim Slade would be. So that goes in so we're not having the driver have to sit in the car every time we're on the patch. Then we put the steering rack stops in, keep the wheel straight. Fluoro tab on the rack stop, we put it on there so that, that they're not forgotten. We get the wizard out, we set it all up, get all the patch level. From there we get our dry weight. There's a minimum front axle weight, a minimum overall weight. Bang on to those before we um, then go into our putting our fuel weight on and then we start seeing where the balance of the car is at. We'll get our ride heights close, then we'll move on to our cambers, toes. Unfortunately, the only thing we can't do with the lasers is the track width. We have to put a car on the ground on the tyres, so we'll put it down and we'll measure the track width. We'll then come back up, go into bump steer, seeing how much at, um, under load the cambers are starting to move. Yeah, the last couple of steps is just going back onto the, the setup wizard uh, making sure that everything's where it needs to be, making sure that everything is exactly where it needs to be on the setup sheet, check with the engineers to sign them off. Depends what circuit you're at. If you're at a street circuit and stuff like that and you're hitting curbs and all that all the time, yeah, definitely after each session we'll, we'll check the toes and things like that. And by having the wizards now, we can do that pretty quickly.